Hello, welcome to another episode. Now we are picking the General Mathematics 2025 for the Liberian. The first question is a company sells two kinds of smartphones, which is Model X and the Model Y. The selling price of the X and the Y is $600 for X, $750 for the Y. So in a particular month, the company sold 50% more of Model Y than that of what Model X. So if the total sales from uh, both models was $1,224, no, $1,242,000. We have to find the number of each model that were what sold. So in this case, we just need to know the, the unit cost is what we have been given at $650,000. One, so we need to know uh, how many numbers that have been bought. So we are looking for the numbers. So first of all, let's see. Uh, let's take it from here. The cost. So if this is the cost, we need to know the number. So we can see that uh, let x using small x for this be the number of what model x and uh, y be the number of what the y so if that's the case uh, this is the unit cost i think as i have indicated it as unit cost then if this is the unit cost then the cost of selling uh, x number of model is going to be here. So let's say the the cost. So the cost of selling X number of model X is going to be the actual cost, which is um, the unit cost times what the number we are selling. Then the cost of selling Y number of model Y will also be the unit cost seven fifty times what the Y. All right, so now the selling price of X and Y has been given. That is what we have. So in a particular month, the company sold 50% more of Model Y than what? Model X. We need to have an instruction for this. Before then, let's come to the end. If the total sales from both model was this very amount, we have to find the number. So remember, total sales is given to us. Total sales of X number of uh, X model, that is a sum of all, if I know the X to be 10, it means I know the total sum of the 10 that I sold. Then if I know this to be 5, I will multiply to get the total sum. So just here, the total sales, you can have an equation for total sales. Why in this case, we are going to have, let me use without the, the money symbol, X plus 750y equals to 1,242,000. This is what we are looking for. This is the equation from this table. The total sales from both model was this. So it means that the total sales, the cost of selling the X model, the cost of selling the Y model, when I add all of them, I am supposed to get what? 1,242,000. So my cost is to know what the X and the Y is to use to multiply to generate the 1,242,000. So we are now going back to the, the condition here in, uh, what is it? in a particular month, we are having the company sold 50% more of Y. So we are going to say that the number of uh, model Y is more than the number of model X sold. That would imply that if I'm looking for model Y, they sell more of this as in X, plus what 50 percent which is going to be 0.5 percent of what x let's take it again the company sold 50 percent more of model y than the sold for what model what x so that means that if i know the model x then i can be able to tell that 50 percent of that will be added to the x to give me that of the y let me take it again. If we are to have the model Y, model X, 
having 100 pieces that have been sold. What do you think the Y pieces will be? Y pieces is what? 50% more. 50% more. So if 50% more, it means 50% of 100 will be, let's say, 50, right? Then that 50 will be added onto that of the 100 to make the total number of Y that have been sold. So this is going to be Y will be equals to the X, the number of X model sold plus 50% of the X model combined together to give me total. And I think this, I can take it as a long equation as in 1 plus 0 0.5. That will be 1.5 word X. So you can see we are having this Y in terms of X. So this Y will be changed in terms of X. So if I can say that this is my equation 1 and this is what? Equation 2. I can put equation 2 in equation 1. Equation 2 in equation 1. So here I'll have my 600 X plus 750Y which is now 1.5X equals to 1, 2, 4, 2, 0, 0. I think we need to multiply that. So uh, this is just like 3 divided by 2. So 3 times this divided by 2. Let's check that. So this multiplication will give us 1,125, so we're having 600x plus 1,125x equals 1,242,000. So in the course of this, if I add the 600 to it, I should be having 1,725x equals to 1,200,000. 42,000. So in the course of multi dividing both sides by the 1,725, I will know how many of the X that have been sold. And that will now help me find that of what? The Y. So right from here, we can have our X equals to 1,242,000. Thousand divided by one thousand seven hundred and what twenty five, right? One thousand seven hundred twenty five, and when you put that on your calculator, you should be having seven hundred and what twenty. Which means the number of uh, the X model sold is going to be seven twenty. Then from the equation two, we can say that from Y equals to what do you have? 1.5x y will be equals to 1.5 times 720 1x equals 720 so we multiply that by 1.5 that will be giving you 1000 and what 80 so therefore we are asked to find the number of each model sold so therefore we can say that, so we can conclude that the number of X model and Y model sold is going to be 720 and 1080 respectively, as the question word asks of us. I guess, yeah, exclude from this, like, share, comment, and subscribe.